So you don't need the treehouse key. It is for something special. <laughs> this is something special for you. Don't forget to twist it in the hole. Uh, well, I suppose the key you do twist. I used to mock that she twists those um, those uh, access cards from Tomb Raider 2. Those giant red, blue, yellow, and green cards. She would twist it <laughs> in the hole. Anyway. Okay. A couple of steps from the top seems right. But be careful. <laughs> Huge splash damage that affects enemies, small splash damage that affects Lara, apparently. Right here. What is this? No, seriously, what is this? No. It's the... Where is it? Did I just go past it? It's the automatic pistol. I'm going to stick to my grenade launcher for now, but there will be a use for that later on okay now so th this this room is just about the two secrets you can skip a lot of this stuff if you just go for the the exit just jump on over to the stick this side just stick to the edges that however is just leaves and you'll fall through i don't want that and then just jump under this golden slope and get out Jump there, jump there, do this weird little thing that she does there. Sliding at an angle for some reason. Don't freak out because of that music. I think there was maybe a boulder intended to follow you down, but it doesn't happen. Jump here, hopefully this vine doesn't have a collision box. No. Yay. You can just run and jump over here, it should be fine. So where we want to head is that way, sort of, but before we do that, let's go this way. This is a sketchy little jump, but it should be fine. Just keep holding forward, don't let go of forward. There was a man bear pig ready to just stand there, I guess. The grenades, shotgun shells, and a secret skull. A secret skeleton. And here's some shotgun shells also down there. Should have quite a lot of ammo by now. 43 shells. 700 Uzi clips. Well, bullets. Okay, there's a large med pack over there. Let's just go and grab that. It's a little bit of a dodgy jump. Grab in the air. Ooh, I thought I was going to slide all the way in. If you go in there by the skulls, you die. Okay, I didn't die. My alertness is much higher now. Here's another sketchy thing. So now you know that skull pit kills you, but that little half tile by your hand, your left hand, right Hold on. Right now. 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 That's safe. Let's go there. Safe. Okay, well, let's use some of these glowstones, man. It's going to be careful. Some of these little half tiles are slopey, and they can just push you into these death pits okay well we want to go let's throw this one another one jump over here and what we got to do is head on around to this side 
Careful now. There's a vine ladder right here. So this is a very dangerous place. Okay, keyhole. We're going to find the key and come back to that. Because all of these little slopes will push you down and there's a death pit in most places. It's just because of this little double triangle you cannot stand on. You have to jump over it, which is so dodgy. Jump to there. You can walk around here safely. Okay. I'm going to play this a little bit safe. And by that I mean YOLO. There we go. Oh, okay, hold on, hold on. Where am I going? This little point here is quite safe and you can jump over to there. You see how dodgy this place is? Nice gold waterfall. Okay, there's the key, right there, and there's another item we need, just do a standing jump, before we head on over to there, be very careful here. was well hidden right there. Here's another secret and a bunch of Uzi clips. That little triangle thing freaks me out, man. Looks like you're going to slide off. I'm pretty sure I have somehow slidden off and unpredictably. In any case, let's move on. I'm starting to consider saving now. I suppose it's not the worst thing in the world to do, right? Because, and why? Why would I do something like that? Why would I save? I thought this is all about not saving. It's because of the hitboxes of the fire in this freaking game. But we'll see. That was quick to make that decision. Um, okay, let's just go here. That's safe. Wait for this. I mean, this isn't too bad. The problem is that... I don't think this one ever comes on. The problem is that this is timed. It's not a tight timer, but it's timed nonetheless. See, I, I, I could have timed that better to actually hit the lever before this first. Okay. Gonna have to do that again. Hold on, let's wait for this fire to go. Okay, that should be right. See that? What the fuck? Literally, I was on this tile and I caught on fire. That's why I say. <laughs> There's nothing I can do about that. Literally. The fire is off and I get and I catch on fire. Okay, let's wait for this again. Yeah, 
I waited way too long there. Now it's back on. Okay, let's try YOLO this. No. I deeply hate this. Wait for this fire a little bit and go. What? You see that? There wasn't it wasn't happening. There was So just wait for it to come back on. Like you would take my advice now anymore, right? Jesus. Okay, that's off now. I don't know. Is it supposed to come on? Just jump. I don't know what's happening in there, but let's we're done. Mm -hmm. Take the key. No man. Take that. So if I'm not mistaken, that allows us to get back out here. The purpose being you need to grab the scope. It makes you pick that up because you have to get it. Yeah, let's go, man. So... We got the key during that nightmarish hellfire. What? It's, come on. What kind of a word can I use for that kind of nightmare? Let's jump back over to there. Deep forest key, right? Yes. There's an impaled guy and he's actually got a, something in him as well. It's not just a whole lot of spikes. Come back to that in a moment. We can move this box out. Actually, I want to check something before I do that. Yep, there's a keyhole there. And this is going to show a another Tomb Raider 4 feature where you can push movable objects in or well, over a, a cliff. Over a, a cliff is a big word. Just off an, off an edge. There we go. That's the right English right there. <laughs> off a cliff. Seriously? No. I've got to stop doing that, man. It's just the timing of pressing action. Oh, that's a 2 motor 4 feature. You just continue to push without taking a break. And resetting the push. Here we go. Doc. Alrighty. So we need that key first, obviously. But there is one of these levers. That gives us access to this side. Just sprint. Just fall away tiles and spikes and everything. 
still not as bad as fire. Talking of fire, however... Oh wait, sir, don't just leave. On this pedestal... Mm -hmm. Boom, the key. I don't even want to talk when I'm near Tomb Raider 4 fire. It's the it's just terrible. Hate it. Okay, we gotta jump back to there, but you have to be quite careful now. You can just do a half tile. Because there's no space to do a, a run and jump. And now we can drop the key in. Since there aren't that many buttons. I'm going to have to dock when she puts the key in. So that magically took the spikes out and you can collect this item. What is it? That is clearly a longbow. And as you know, the ancient hunters of the world did, they combined longbows with laser sights. They did, didn't they? So now we can use that. And when you look, you've got a nice laser sight on your super archaic bow. Let's climb up here. You can attach it to the automatic pistol. Can I jump backwards here? Yes. Barely. Okay. But I prefer it on the longbow. And shoot parts and stuff. Just gonna collect all that ammo. I will be using that automatic gun. Okay, well, let's just. Okay, where are we? Now we're in this area. We gotta to ascend to the top of this room by means of that little jump and the shimmy action. Shortly we will not be required to do that. Because of this. Um Plonk. Plonk's pretty good. So that moves the the blocks down there in a very peculiar way, but it's convenient as well. Um, who's these? Small med pack. Okay, this door is closed currently. And this is a fairly well hidden uh, feature right there. You've, you've got that, but you need to go up this ladder. Could well, well easily take you some time to find that. Now, where do I jump off? Do I jump and roll? I don't know. Just go. There's a weird, hideous, fat guy statue. And we'll need to make use of said weird ass fat guy statue. But before we do that, before we can do that, let's go through here. And now we gotta make use of this. Shoot that hive. Pisses out honey onto the, the fire. And we can take something from that fireplace. There we go. Got our torch now. So this is a oh my freaking god. Excuse me. I jumped. Oh, I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened. I'm glad that happened, sort of. When you have the torch 
in your hand like that. She turns very quickly. See that? Very quickly. So I turned way too much. Whatever. I'm alive. So be wary of that. So now we've got to head down to a spot where there's fire. That's more damage taken now. It's here. What is happening, man? Okay. This has gone from a like a leisurely great time to dodgy as shit. Okay, we've got our lit torch. And the function of the torch as a, as a puzzle through a lot of Tomb Raider 4 and other Tomb Raider 4 terrorities is that you cannot grab. You cannot grab ledges, etc. with the torch. So we need to make a plan to get it up to the top. So you just throw it onto this platform. I don't know why I was such a dumbass earlier and just fell off into a hole. Who does that? Even if you're playing casually, I mean, why? What? Seriously, you're stuck on the candles now? Now you're stuck in the wall? Just turn until you start stepping and get unstuck. And move this. Plonk. I think that was the word. And now the torch has been raised. Oh my god. <laughs> Let's take that. Now throw it onto this tile, which raises all the way to the top. It went mostly into the wall there, which could be a problem. And go up this way again. What about Kirk the Doc? No, too much. <laughs> so now we've got this torch right up here where we need it. That's a bit of a problem. Can I? Yes, please. <laughs> I thought, seriously. Oh, oh, I cannot get back into the crawl position, but I can throw it again. Now I can crawl and stand up. Wow, that kind of stuff doesn't happen unless you're in the middle of something. Here we go. But we've got a slight problem now. I didn't open that gate. I needed to open that gate. Let's just throw that there. This is not going well. That's good. Come on down this passage and open the gate. I should have did plonk and do this first. That opens something. Um oh yes course this is what was relevant just now is so you can get up here and go to the fat guy statue don't catch on fire <laughs> and throw the freaking This is starting to become like my, um, what was it? The Tomb of the Ancient Warriors, that video where everything went wrong. But I was, I was still busy saving all the time when I did that. Okay, that's our goal achieved. 
with the with the torch but we need to keep the torch i'm just gonna throw it over there because i think i have to deal with more man bear pigs yes am i still equipping the bow she was standing with the did you see that she was standing as though she was holding the the bow with the grenade launcher so i didn't think she had that is unique that is a unique problem to have. This really is a everything that can go wrong video right now. Okay, we're going to come back to all of this.